Thank you, Carol, and welcome to all of you and to uh, Madam President. It's an honor to be with you and uh, hear your remarks uh, to also learn more about the leadership role that your country has played in these issues before us today. I had a wonderful visit recently uh, with your ambassador in my office uh, talking about many of these ideas in, in common interest. There's a lot we can learn uh, from each other. I also am uh, very pleased uh, and represent a district on the heartland of our country in the St. Louis region. And we have a, uh, I understand the ambassador is going to be with us in early June uh, for opening of a, uh, one of the largest and greenest uh, cement plants in, the, in our country uh, from one of your companies, Wholesome. Uh, so we're looking forward to that. There's going to be a big job creator uh, in our area. And uh, Mr. Rogers, great to have you here as a representative of Secretary Chu. Uh, he truly has been uh, a leader uh, for the administration in terms of advancing science and accelerating innovation. And so uh, the work you're doing to track uh, the Recovery Act is very important uh, to us in Congress and to the people that we represent uh, around the country. You know, we have, we are emerging from a tough, deep, long recession. Uh, but, you know, in our country, it's one of the core uh, things of our character. I think we rise to a great challenge. And it's one of the things that I've seen as I travel around the country and around and talk to people I represent back in Missouri. Uh, people rise to a challenge. and. We do some of our best innovation uh, in tough economic times. And in fact, since World War II, over half of our economic growth has been through innovation and new technology. Uh, so we know uh, this is a vital, vital part of our recovery. Um, honored to be here with you today. And as was mentioned, I serve on three committees, Foreign Affairs, Science, in transportation, uh, where we've had many opportunities uh, to advocate what work we can do to strengthen our global cooperation and, and strongly advocate creating clean energy jobs. In the President's 2010 State of the Union address, he said, quote, the nation that leads the clean economy will lead the global economy. Uh, I could not agree more. Uh, so for what we're doing, uh, what, what you are doing and many others, uh, there is a lot to learn, a lot of information to share, and a lot to get done. Four key challenges we face, I think, are in creating jobs, securing our energy independence, protecting the environment from the worst impacts of climate change, and improving the financial bottom line for businesses and families. This really is a win, 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 win proposition, any way you look at it. While there are many facets to creating and sustaining a vibrant, clean energy economy, I want to focus on energy efficiency, conservation, what's often been referred to as our first fuel, and specifically the high-performance buildings uh, effort. Uh, in this area, we stand to learn a lot from our friends in Europe and certainly from our friends here uh, today from Switzerland. Uh, in Congress, uh, we've organized uh, a caucus uh, called the Sustainable Energy and Environment Caucus. Uh, is another group that has been very active in these issues. Uh, but I uh, organized and co-chair the High Performance Buildings Caucus. After listening to these debates, we actually sponsored a Green Building Conference back in my home city of St. Louis a few years ago. We saw some of the innovation, saw some of the job creation opportunities. And when I came back to Washington after that conference, I listened even more closely to what a lot of people were saying in our energy debate. And so many times, in fact, more often than not, in those conversations, people were talking about how we generate our power, talking about our auto sector. Uh, but oftentimes, people fail to even mention the built environment. Uh, that has to be a critical part of what we do and the solutions that we search for today. High performance buildings, 
matter in this discussion. Uh, the facts speak for themselves. Buildings account for about 40% of our CO2 emissions, 70% of all electricity from the grid, 60% of raw materials, 12% of potable water. And how does this relate to jobs and economic growth? The U.S. building, uh, the US building construction is responsible for 15% of GDP a year. High performance buildings are more important in these economic times because of their reduced energy cost, higher building values, and lower overall operating and maintenance cost. Greater building efficiency can meet 85% of future U.S. demand for energy, 85%. And a national commitment to green building has the potential to generate 2.5 million American jobs. That's according to our friends at the U.S. Green Building Council with us here today. And what is the federal government's role? Well, first, we need to lead by example. There are thousands of, of federal buildings across this country. Uh, we need to be serious about an initiative to uh, build green, but also retrofit our existing federal government building stock. We need to help create economies of scale and grow the market. We need to look at best practices, develop standards, and provide incentives to deploy these technologies even faster. Go while government is an essential partner in this effort, and good policy will help create and shape these new markets, it is business that will do the heavy lifting if the signals are correct. And more and more businesses that I talk to uh, are looking at ways to be involved in this. Uh, not only that it's good for the environment, not only that it's important to their customers, uh, but also that it's important for their bottom line. And so we see more and more businesses taking a leadership role in this uh, than we have before. So as we look at opportunities for the U.S. to emerge from this current recession, I am determined that here in the U.S., we do what we do best, and that is we rise to a great challenge, and we innovate, and we compete, and we collaborate. And we look forward to doing that with all of you here in this room uh, to be sure we get to the goals uh, that we all share. Thank you very much.